Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today we're here to talk about Galaxy Samsung XR again Asian But today's video is all about AI because if you guys watched a lot of what Samsung has been putting out about this headset AI is at the core focus of this unlike other headsets where AI is probably a second afterthought But AI is really driven in the Google software in here and Android XR and it is all over the US More than any other thing I have ever seen and there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with this already And we're just sitting here on day one and obviously this stuff gets smart Smarter and smarter our days go by so i wanted to showcase all the different ways and cool ways that i found to use ai right now on the google on the google xr platform right now show you guys some of my ideas and if you guys have some of your own ideas if you guys own this headset and you found some cool use cases i'd love to know what you guys are doing with it but i'm gonna go ahead and showcase all the things i found so far so let's go ahead and get into the video gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a is the gaming tech gaming tech is the gaming all right guys so here we are so we can start talking about the ai because google gemini is a very big deal that is used all over the os very different than something like the apple vision pro or even the meta quest that has some ai features especially the apple vision pro but gemini is really incorporated into everything that you do here on the samsung galaxy xr which is one of its you know things that they have been touting for you know that whole entire conference when they showed this headset off so i want to dive in to show you guys some of the things that gemini can do here so we're going to start off really simple here first of all the gemini icon is right here so you can just pull it up if you want to or you can simply say what you usually say to pull this up but you can say hey google How's it going today? Thank you for asking. How about you? Do Doing yeah, I'm actually about to do a video showcasing all the things that you can do here on Galaxy XR. You want to introduce us to this video and tell us, uh, you know, what we can expect when we use you in Galaxy XR? Okay, sure. So, you can think of me as your helpful sidekick here on the Galaxy XR. I can help you find things, answer questions, and even get stuff done. For example, you can ask me to find videos, facts, or even help you explore new places. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start off really simple. Let's go ahead and uh, why don't you open up YouTube for me and search for um, Galaxy XR videos. All right. One second, please. I've opened YouTube and searched for Galaxy XR videos for you. There you go. Now you can see it's still listening and all that stuff, but you can see I have YouTube and it opened it up really quickly. And we have a bunch of videos based on Galaxy XR. And uh, you can see all the different videos that people are making and stuff like that while you scroll through here. And uh, talking about Galaxy XR and everything that it can kind of do and stuff, which is awesome. Hey, and there's my video uh, sitting right there. All right. So uh, then you could also do some interesting things, uh, some other things of just pulling things up. So you can say things like, can you also now open up Safari or the web browser and go to Samsung.com? Okay. Just a moment, please. Boom. And there you see that it is opening up samsung.com we can go ahead and swipe away these settings if we need to but no we do want the desktop site so that's fine but there you go went to samsung.com and i can go ahead and obviously move this window over here if i want to um can you also open up the youtube uh, the youtube music and search for tate mccray and play one of her songs all right give me just a sec opening youtube music for you now I'll then search for Tate McRae. I've opened YouTube Music and searched for Tate McRae for you. Awesome. So you can see that Tate McRae is sitting here at the bottom. And we have Tit for Tat sitting right there that we can play and, you know, use right there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side again. And uh, you can have all these apps kind of surrounding you. But you can also have a, have a mess of them kind of everywhere. And then you can simply say, can you organize my windows for me? Sure thing. One sec while I work on that. Your windows have been organized. And I also like that she's kind of always listening. So even though I'm having a conversation with you guys on the video, you can see that as soon as I ask it to do something, it kind of just does it because it's always listening. And I don't have to keep calling out like the action. It just kind of is always like a companion. It's almost like she said, she's a companion kind of sitting around with us. I'm glad you find that helpful. I'm here to assist you whenever you need me. So I'm going to go ahead and just close all these windows out and we're going to move to the next topic here, which is pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and now open up 
the photos application on here. Unfortunately, even though she's still listening, there's this button right here on Google Gemini that basically says share view, which basically lets her see the view around me so she can see exactly what I'm seeing. But unfortunately, there is no way to capture that and record on headset while she's actually looking at my view at the same time. Right, Gemini? That's correct. You can't record your view on the headset looking at it. So... Unfortunately, because of that, I'm kind of just going to describe uh, and show you some of the things that she can do so you guys can get some ideas on what you can do when, she, when you do hit this button and go live because that's one of the standout features that you can have on this headset. For example, while she's listening right now, if she was able to see my view, she can take this photo and basically describe what's in it. If I had a photo in front of me of these headsets, she can tell me like, hey, this is the headset that's sitting right here and, you know, she can give you information about it. I could just say, hey, what's in this picture? And she would describe all these different headsets that are here. Now, because she's not live right now and she can't see what I see, I can still ask it questions. I could be like, hey, tell me about this MetaQuest 3 that I'm looking at. Uh, how much does it cost? Sure. The MetaQuest 3 is priced at $499.99. So what's also really cool as well, uh, again, you have to be live to do it, is that like if she looks at a video that you may have, like if I have a video on anything, she can actually see this and be like, and you know what, Give based on the video that's playing, why don't you give me a story rhyme? And she will just automatically start talking about what I see. Well what she sees, because she sees what I see. So I can just be like, hey, give me a nursery rhyme based on what you're looking at. But unfortunately, because she's not doing that right, Gemini, you can't do that right now. But you could do that if you were able to see my view. That's right. I can't see your view right now, but if I could, I could create a story rhyme based on what I see in the video. So in instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video and I'm going to describe to you what's on it. And maybe you can give us a rhyme based on that. Got it. I'm ready to hear about the video. Okay, so I'm playing a video and we're going down the street of Disney. We have the Magic Kingdom Castle on there. It's a bunch of different clips from our vacation. Uh, you know, now we see the Epcot Ball, we have Hollywood videos, and we are Deja now on the sure. Disney Skyliner. So I give us a round of applause. Seriously, that's what I was waiting for. Let me check on that now. In a land of magic, our dreams take flight. Down Disney streets, Cinderella and Cinderella Disney Castle. Cinderella and There you go. Good job. Good job, Gemini. There you go. So she can do stuff like that for you, which is really pretty cool uh, when it comes to doing stuff like this. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Is there anything else I can help you with? So just picture the fact that if you were actually watching this NBA game and she was able to see your screen, you can ask her about what's going on in the game. You can ask her like, hey, look at the score. Tell me about the Lakers. Tell me how well they're doing this season. Uh, tell me some stats about the guy who just shot the ball. She can see visually the player numbers and stuff and tell you exactly what's going on, which is really super interesting. So let's go ahead and switch gears here. So Gemini, can you open up maps and take us to New York? All right, one second, please. Actually, on second thought, instead of going to New York, can we go to California? Okay, working on it now. All right. I've updated the map to show California. What about uh, specifically Santa Monica, California? Okay, one sec while I work on that. I've updated the map to show Santa Monica, California. So now we're going to go into immersive view here and Santa Monica, and Santa Monica is right underneath here. Now, if she could actually see what I could see, I don't even have to tell her the names of these things. I can literally just, like tell her like hey i'm looking at this building can you kind of tell me information about it based on what i'm looking at like if i was looking at this santa monica proper hotel but because she can't see what i'm seeing i'm just going to tell her like hey i'm looking at the santa monica proper hotel can you tell me about that Nice, and how far is it from the Santa Monica Pier? Alright, so it's not too far then. Nope, not too far at all. Speaking of the pier, I was actually in California last year. And uh, for the first time, or sorry, this past year actually. And it was really cool. Tell me about the Santa Monica Pier. Yeah, I was actually just going to talk about the famous uh, Ferris wheel that's on there was awesome because I got really good views of the ocean and the whole entire area when I rode that. Yeah, and one of the other things that I really liked uh, down the pier, if you, go, I'm sure you know what it is, Gemini, Mario, Maria Sol, the Mexican restaurant that's at the edge of the pier. Yeah, 
Yeah, the drinks were really good. What what kind of what rating does it have? Nice. And what's the most popular dish that they serve there? Definitely sounds like something I would order for sure. It's a really cool place. I'll have to go back there the next time I'm there. So yeah, that's really cool that you can do that with Google Maps and, and kind of interact with it. And again, have like a, a companion with you that can, can give you all sorts of information of what you're looking at, what you're seeing. And it kind of feels like you just have a friend with you in a sense. Not in Maps specifically, but I did want to talk a little bit about like gaming as well. Because not only do you, can you play a bunch of different Android apps like 2d apps and stuff like that on here i don't really have any installed right now but I, I have a lot of vr apps installed but as you can also be a companion for when you're playing games correct that's right i can be your companion while you're gaming like for example right now we have inside job here why don't you tell me a little bit about that okay one sec while i work on that inside job is a vr game Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, so it's pretty cool that you can, uh, you know, ask it about that while you're looking at different things. But again, to take this a step further, if she was able to see my screen, if I started playing Inside Job or if I started playing Demio and she's looking at what I'm looking at, she can help me make strategic moves. Imagine if I have a chess board in front of me or if I'm playing a chess game and she was looking at me and she was looking at the board, I can say things like, hey, I'm playing against the AI. Can you help me on what move I can make on a chess board? That's something you could do, right, Gemini? That's right. If you're playing a game like chess, I can analyze the board and suggest moves for you. I can also help you strategize in other games. And that also extends to the fact that if I was lost in a game and maybe I'm lost in a certain section and stuff, you may be able to offer, you may be able to offer me tips on maybe on which direction I should go in, in certain games as well, right? That's right. If you're lost in a game, I can help you find your way. I can also offer tips on which direction to go or what to do next. Yeah, so like I was saying, all that stuff is really cool. I really, really wish I can show you some of that, like specifically, but at least I'm able to tell you guys what you guys can do here. But like I said, you can't record while you're while the AI sees your screen. But this still gives you a good idea of some of the stuff that you can do with Google Gemini that's sitting now on board. And and just to elevate that experience and and kind of reiterate what I was talking about, imagine using the MTV app here that you have and you're watching you know a four split screen game and you're watching the timberwolves and you're watching you know all these different games that are going on right now if you have league pass and she's watching all four games and again you could just have conversations with somebody who's a sidekick and be like hey uh, this game is crazy what's uh, give me the stats on this guy or why is this guy not playing or uh, i'm watching this live game how do you think the players are doing or how are they you know how have they been doing this season all those kinds of things and you could do the same thing uh not even for related for sports you can do the same thing if I open up, like, if I have Google TV open, for example, um, or not Google TV, sorry, YouTube TV, because I, I have YouTube TV as a subscription, and I can go ahead and open up that, and I have access, of course, to all my live TV channels and everything, and if you have that, then anything you're watching is kind of the same thing. You can just ask it, you know, about every different channel you're looking at, or, you know, what is going on, and for example, it says right now, Jimmy Kimmel Live is, is active right now. Gemini, can you tell me? Uh, what's his, what's going on right now on Jimmy Kimmel Live? Can you tell me like what the conversation is? Jimmy Kimmel Live is currently airing on ABC. It's a late night talk show hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, featuring celebrity interviews, musical performances, and comedic segments. Would you like to know who's on the show tonight? Yeah, who's on the show right now? All right, give me just a sec. Tonight's guests on Jimmy Kimmel Live are Molly McNerney, Frank Grillo, and musical guest Zach Brown Band. Nice. And then uh, also, I was watching Dancing with the Stars earlier, but I started recording this video and I missed the ending. Who got eliminated today from Dancing with the Stars? Tonight was Halloween night on Dancing with the Stars, and Jen Affleck and her partner Yan Ravnik were eliminated. Yeah, uh, unfortunately she was. She was one of my favorites that I was going after. Sad day. Yes, that's disappointing. It's always tough when your favorite gets eliminated. Agreed. Uh, the person I'm rooting for now is Topanga from Born Meets World. Gotta, I gotta root for my girl from back in the 90s. Well, she's got a great attitude and seems to be enjoying herself. That can take you far on Dancing with the Stars. Do you know what the scores that she got today? Uh, Danielle Fisher, do you know what scores she got today on Dancing with the Stars? She did great. Danielle Fisher and her partner, Pasha Pasha, scored a perfect 36 out of 30 on Halloween. 
Yeah, that's true because I did see that. So that's all the kind of stuff and conversations that you could have. Imagine doing that while you're watching a TV show or, or catching up on things and stuff like that. So having AI, you know, some, I know some people get a little weary about it. It still provides a lot of benefits and a lot of cool information. One of the other things that I wanted to highlight here um, that, again, you need to be able to see my screen, unfortunately, but I can at least describe to you what I'm about to show is I can open up something like Adobe that was, it's an application that you can edit videos and upload different things. And, you know, I haven't really messed with this too much, but you can create different projects and, and, and stuff like that. And, you know, get exclusive beta access and your, and your code and stuff like that. And one of the things that's really cool on here, uh, again, she needs to be able to see my screen to do this, but if you're looking at the video that I'm editing, Gemini, in Adobe Project Pulsar, you can actually analyze the video or analyze the thing that I'm editing. You can suggest like, hey, you should brighten this photo or you should do this with the photo or hey, you should do this to the background. And not only can you tell me some of that stuff, but if you're looking at it, you can also make those edits for me as well. Correct? That's right. There you go. So really, really cool stuff. Gemini, I think that's all I need from you right now at the end of this video. I just wanted to highlight some of the things that you can do here on Google XR. Uh, there is one thing I need, I want to show you guys still, but that's got nothing to do with Google Gemini. But thank you, Gemini, for all your help tonight. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. And there you go. So your chat's been saved and we're all done. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you guys that's really cool is that if you hold your finger out, so usually you pop the menu like this, but if you hold it down... Uh, you get this prompt right here, and then you see this Google logo right here. If you let it go, and now you can hold and pinch right here. And now anything you pinch in the world, you can see. This is like circle to search if you guys have used Android and stuff. So I can do things like this. I can just go ahead and circle this right here in my room. And the it will show you exactly what it says. The image shows a scarf with a game with passion, exactly what it says and exactly what it is. So yeah, think about looking at Circle to Search to basically search anything in your house or anything that you want to do, which is obviously pretty cool. Just wanted to show you guys how you can access Circle to Search and the fact that it's here. And you can do whatever you want with it and search around your room and, and anything that you're wearing your VR headset on. So yeah, this is uh, obviously really, really cool stuff that we have on here. Uh, that you can access. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on how you guys can use AI. Let me know if you guys have found out other use cases for AI that maybe I didn't find on here because there's a lot of things that you can do here on the Google XR. And again, I wish I can show you guys a little bit more of this with, with it actually seeing what I can see, but unfortunately you can't record at the same time. But still, I gave you some pretty good ideas on some of the stuff that I've discovered. Again, let me know some cool use cases that you guys have found for Google Gemini if you guys have Galaxy XR. And thank you guys for watching. Till next time.